So, remember that thrilling season 6 of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days? Well, it's come to a close, but hold on to your seats because the Tell All Part 2 is a roller coaster of emotions. This season, which premiered back in June 2023, introduced us to seven new couples, and you won't believe what went down in that live audience Tell All. Gino Palazzolo and Jasmine Pineda were the only returning pair. But let's not forget about Amanda Wilhelm and Razvan Chiokoi, Riley Diego and Violet Tuyet, Christian Allgood and Cleo C, Tyre Mollet and Carmela, aka Christian, David Dangerfield and Sheila Mangubat, Maisha Johnson and Nicola Kanan, and Statler Riley and Dempsey Wilkinson. They all played their parts in making this season unforgettable. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter. At number 12, brace yourselves for some emotional turbulence. The Tell All Part 2 started with a bang, when Sean asked Violet the unthinkable, was she pregnant with Riley's child? Violet's response left everyone in shock as she revealed her heartbreaking miscarriage, citing her age and health issues as the reasons. Riley had his own perspective, claiming he wasn't informed about the miscarriage. Emotions ran high as Violet tearfully confirmed her pregnancy and explained the circumstances. And at number 11, hold on tight because things are about to take a twist. Riley claimed he just wanted the truth and understanding behind Violet's pregnancy. Violet, on the other hand, felt relieved after sharing her experience. But what's next for them, you ask? Well, Riley dropped a bombshell. Violet's coming to the US. Without any assistance from him, she secured a tourist visa. Riley suggested a meetup to break bread and hug it out, but Violet, now considering themselves friends, hinted at a future reunion. Fate willing. Speaking of relationships, let's jump to number 10. Christian and Cleo had their fair share of rocky moments in London, but guess what? They made it to the finale and are still going strong. During the tell-all, Cleo revealed she'd been staying with Christian for a whole month. But here's the kicker. Cleo met all the women in Christian's family, but not the men and there's a reason behind it. Christian described his family as masculine and conservative, and he wanted to protect Cleo from any uncomfortable situations. Now, let's talk about some real drama at number nine. Cleo's friend, Jane, spilled the tea on Christian's texting habits with other girls, which made Cleo uneasy. Christian had a group on Discord called AS Anonymous, and one girl there couldn't stop calling him cute. Christian defended himself, but it raised some eyebrows. At number eight, we've got a proposal that'll leave you hanging. Christian popped the big question, asking Cleo if she'd marry him. Hold on though, it's not official just yet, as they want it to happen in person. But Cleo confessed her love and said yes. The process for Cleo's K-1 visa is about to kick off, and wedding bells might be ringing soon. Moving on to number seven, things are getting real for David and Sheila. Sheila wanted to get married in the Philippines, surrounded by her family. But David had a plan, the K-1 fiancé visa. Sheila agreed, and David revealed he'd already started the process, with all the paperwork in the bag. But here's the heartwarming twist. David helped renovate Sheila's family home, working tirelessly to create a safe and comfortable space for her and her family. At number five, we've got some financial drama between Gino and Jasmine. Gino wanted Jasmine to sign a prenup, but guess what? His ex-wife didn't have to. Why, you ask? Well, she was working and had her own retirement account with some smart investments, so Gino had to spill the beans on that one. Now, hold on to your hats, because at number four, we've got some intimate details about Jasmine. She underwent surgery to rejuvenate her intimate area, and it was no walk in the park. But here's the kicker. Gino can't even get close to her now because, well, things are just too tight. At number three, it's Amanda's turn to spill the tea. She and Razvan called it quits just two weeks after her return to the United States. Amanda insisted they're still friends, but Razvan had his own perspective. He claimed she was too focused on her career and had some just friends flirting going on. At number two, Razvan's got some plans of his own. He scored a tourist visa while still dating Amanda, and he's set to visit her in just two months. But wait, there's more? He wants an artist visa to move to the United States and, believe it or not, stay with Amanda. Amanda's got some other plans cooking, though, and things are getting complicated. And finally, at number one, the ultimate shocker. 
Tyrese listens to a call from the producer of 90 Day Fiancé with Christian. The producer discovered Tyrese was being cheated on, and things got crazy. Carmela's Snapchat, email, and phone number were involved, and it didn't end well. There's even an audio recording where Carmela admits to picking up Tyrese for some serious cash and calls him a stupid, stupid American. Tyrese's belongings left behind in Barbados added to the chaos. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed this roller coaster of news and gossip from the world of stars and TV shows. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to stay in the loop, and drop your comments below. I love hearing from you. This is Max signing off, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Stay tuned, stay curious, and stay fabulous.